Welcome back to the Rocket and Reagan Awards 2015 edition. It's time for us to have a very uncomfortable conversation about the one appliance in your home that isn't getting enough love right now. No, I'm not talking about your blender, Marissa. I am talking about your PC. Okay. Um, we've got the five best PC games of 2015 nominations right now. We've got Undertale, we've got Crypt of the Necrodancer, Metal Gear Solid 5, Fallout 4, and The Witcher 3. What's this offer? Got a contract for me? I do, if you're willing to partner with me. Let's get the conversation started with our good friend Raju Mudar. Raju, you're a huge PC gamer. What did you play the most this year? What's your favorite? Well, I, I do like this category because it does highlight some indie games, and I think it's a bit of a down year. I loved Undertale. I found a lot of fun at Crypto Next Semester, but really, using my PC to its fullest was The Witcher 3. I mean, that is an unbelievably gorgeous game, and you had to have enough hardware to run it, but when it does run, it is amazing. I think that's a, a great way to get things started. I'm gonna pick Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. You wanna head out with the boss. Bethesda games come in two flavors. There's the console version that's full of bugs that you'll never be able to fix, and then there's the PC version that's full of bugs that you can fix. <laughs> and I find that Fallout 4 looks so much better on a high-end PC, and already the mods are starting, already like the little tweaks to the interface and to the stuff in the game. Just the fact that you can actually build on what Bethesda's done and make it better on the PC version, for me, makes that the definitive version of Fallout 4 and kind of my definitive PC game of the year. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. Thanks, that's lots of great points, but we're moving on to Sophia now. Sophia? <laughs> well, my PC actually got a lot of love this year. I upgraded it and everything, and I use it to play a lot of little indie games that don't really require a nice graphic card. But Metal Gear Solid 5 is going to be my pick. I just love the series. It's so wacky and crazy. I mean, the first 20 minutes, you're just, what is going on? Like flaming unicorns? Like, yeah. what is that? Yeah. And that comes with D-Dog. You have to love D-Dog. Yeah. So I, my pick goes to Metal Gear. Yeah, I, you know, I, I know Ben Silverman's very excited. I'm skipping him. I'm going right to Victor Lucas, though. You know, I played Metal Gear 5 on the uh, PC, which was weird because it's always been a, a PlayStation brand That's for right. me, you know? But it would f played wonderfully on the PC. Mm -hmm. It looked incredible. But I have to agree with Steve. I think Fallout 4 is one of the strongest titles I've ever ever played. It's one of the strongest titles that Bethesda has worked on, and it runs much better on the PC. Things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Back. I agree with what Sophia said, that this was really a year all about smaller indie games that you would play on your PC. I've downloaded so many random Steam games that I just loved, and Crypt and Necrodancer was one. Undertale, spectacular and underplayed. I don't think a lot of people played it. It came out late in the year, and I'm still working my way through it. Yeah, it's, it's a, a very cool RPG, subversive. minimalist, but very smart. It's like you don't want to give anything away, because yep. it's got a lot of weird twists. Yep. Now, for me, this really does come down to The Witcher and Fallout. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Are you teasing us? I love, well, The Witcher 3, I think, is is, is a, a, my favorite RPG. But in this particular category, PC, you guys are totally right. Fallout 4, it's all about playing it on the PC. So we got to move on to Marissa Roberto. Oh, Marissa. Great. My turn. Uh, no, I agree with you about all of that, about Fallout 4 being on the PC, and that's great. But I still have to go with what pulls me in a little bit more, and I'm a big fan of The Witcher 3. I can't even tell you how much fun I've had with it. So I'm going with The Witcher 3, everybody. Okay. So congratulations to Fallout 4. And listen, we've got more awards to give away. It's best action game of 2015 after the break. <laughs> 